Hey guys, welcome back to Griffin's Gaming Guide. Today we're going to go after another Demon's Souls remake trophy, Witch in the Tower, where you need to rescue Yuria the Witch. Now there's quite a few steps that you're going to need to perform in order to be able to rescue Yuria the Witch, chief among which is getting the full official's armour set. You're going to need the official's cap, the official's clothes, the official's gloves and the official's leggings. Now the officials themselves are those big fat guys that shoot fireballs at you as well as having a large scythe they can take a bit of damage and deal a fair amount as well we need to take down four of them there's four specific ones found throughout the world that will drop one each piece of armor so to start off with we're going to go after the fat official that holds the officials gloves to get it you want to make your way through the area at the start from the arch zone you'll see the fat official over the other side of a collapsing bridge however the left strut supporting the bridge you can actually walk across so walk across there fairly carefully, take out the fat official, loot his corpse, that'll be the official's gloves. Next up we're going to go after the official's leggings, which again can be found in Stonefang Tunnel and the Smithing Grounds area. Once you've made your way through the level and you've activated the water, which will then kind of seal off the fire floor, you'll then be able to run across it. You'll come across this fat official regardless of the route you take if you're trying to make your way through to the armor spider boss. And be very careful, don't get too close to the barrels that are down here with the fat official, as if he fires one of his fireballs and you get caught in the blast, you could very easily be taken out by the barrels as well as the actual fireball itself. But kill him, loot his leggings, and then we'll move on to the next one. So next up we need to be in Stonefang Tunnel, the Tunnel City, straight after you've defeated the Armour Spider. Run down through the tunnel, take a left, go past the exploding minecarts. The fat official that you'll find over to your right will hold the official's clothes. Right, now, on the way to actually getting the official's cap, there's another very important item you're going to need to get, so I might as well show you that now, and then as soon as we've got it, we'll go after the official's cap, just to kind of keep the continuity going. So, the item in question, you'll need to kill another fat official to get the iron key ring. This guy can be found just past the first red knight that you're going to need to defeat in the inner ward area, and there are a lot of other enemies around, so ensure that you take them out before you deal with the fat official, just to kind of make it a one-on-one -on -one rather than a ten-on-one. And once you've managed to loot the iron key ring, now all of these items, they are guaranteed drops as well. All four sets of armor, the iron key ring, plus we're going to go after another key in a little while as well. All of them are completely guaranteed drops. There's no way of actually missing them unless you don't loot the corpses at the time. So once we've got the iron key ring, we'll then move on to get the official's cap. Right then, now that we've got the iron key ring, I'll take you back from the archstone to show you the best route to go around to get the official's cap. It is pretty much the same way that we've just gone. However, this area can be quite confusing for brand new players. Some of you veterans out there that are watching this completely understand it. It might seem unnecessary to you guys. However, for the newer players, I don't want them getting lost and feeling a little bit flustered with anything if I just cut the footage to an area that they might not be too sure whereabouts they are. 
Now we'll make our way up and around all the way. Once you're at the top, take a left rather than taking a right. If you take a right, you're going to come up against a small army of enemies, including three very powerful spear-wielding red knights. And we don't need anything whatsoever to do with them guys in order to be able to get this particular trophy done and out of the way. So take a left down the staircase rather than taking a right, you'll have a much easier time of it. And then at the bottom of the large staircase, take out the fat official, loot the official's cap. We're then going to proceed back to the inner ward archstone. Right, now that we've got the iron key ring, we need to make our way back to the area where the red drake was firing at us. Just before you get to the area, on the right of a blue knight will be a little wooden door. You can use the iron key ring to get through this wooden door, proceed down where you're going to need to take out another fat official who will then drop the bloody iron key. Now the bloody iron key is a very important item as it opens the gate to lead to where Uria is. So again, we're going to proceed back to the inner ward archstone. Ensure that you've equipped all four pieces of the official's clothing. Obviously the cap, the clothes, the gloves and the leggings. From here, we're then going to proceed back into the inner ward area. This time staying right before you go up the large staircase, just past where the wolves are. You can then use the bloody iron key at the end of the small passageway on the gate that will then open it up proceed through there'll be one more gate you need to use the bloody iron key on proceed all the way down to the tower climb the stairs and providing you've got all four pieces of the official's clothing equipped a staircase will then lower and as soon as you've defeated the fat official at the top of the staircase that's just lowered down your trophy will then unlock now in order to be able to send Yuria back to the nexus where you'll then be able to purchase her very powerful spells you need to unequip the official's clothing set that you're wearing. Just stand there in a loincloth or whatever it is you're wearing, it doesn't matter. Providing you're not wearing any of the official's armor, when you speak to her, she'll then thank you for rescuing her, then go back to the Nexus, and like I say, you'll be able to purchase some very powerful spells off of her.
do you want with me? Have you brutes no mercy? Do as you wish. There are no secrets here. Only a tired, emaciated frame. Heavens, you... You... You came to save me. Thank you. So then guys, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit the like button. Let me know down in the comments section how you're getting on with rescuing Yuri and the Witch. Please ensure you subscribe to Griffith's Gaming Guides. After you subscribe, please hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future Demon's Souls remake content. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.